Are you currently stuck inside of a plateau in the gym? Are you literally getting no gains at all? Even though you're going to the gym and training really hard, but you just do not see that physical difference in yourself? Well, I'm here to reassure you, everything's gonna be just fine, and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. Because you're probably doing some things in the gym that are stopping you from getting progress, and I'll get straight to it. It's probably your diet. So I have braces and I just ate a bunch of broccoli and bro if your teeth are not looking like disgusting and full of green shit when you're done eating, or you are not eating the right way. Now that is a pretty nasty reference but it's really the truth because it, what you have to put in your body has to have a lot of nutritional value. You can't just like eat good calories. You also need good nutrition. And that's why I make sure to fill up at least half of my plate with green. Alright, straight green. You want to just have green every day. Anyway, there's not a whole lot to say about diet. I mean, you can look up all the studies you want about how to do it, but if you want to make sure you're not overthinking all day, just take out what you eat, all right? For example, the Celsius. Will it make me fat if I have this every day? And the answer is no. So I go ahead and do it every day. Although there are some questionable studies about Celsius, but otherwise there's no sufficient evidence from what I've seen. So make sure you're not subjecting yourself to harm while you're eating though. That is, that is definitely not what you want. All right, it is time for a drop test. Go. So to start off, are you eating your vegetables, bro? Are you getting those greens in? Are your teeth looking disgusting after you're done eating? If the answer is no, then oh no, you're in some trouble. I'm just kidding, you're not in trouble, but there's always some improvement. So according to Harvard, all right, at least one half of your place should be vegetables, bro. So for the record, if you don't know what that looks like, take a pie chart and make half of that green Put your vegetables on there. That is what your plate should look like, bro. Now, that may be really disgusting. Some of my people who don't eat that stuff out there. But listen, bro, you want to get those gains. You want to get the nutritional value that you need to get ripped. You got to do it, bro. And it's only going to harm you by not doing it. I'm not trying to scare anyone into thinking that they're going to be harmed by their diet. But listen, bro, the only thing you can really do is just go up further and further by eating the right stuff. And please, just get your vegetables in. It is worth it. I know this video is about diet, but don't you forget to train hard because you will not get the results that you want if you're not willing to you know, train hard in general. It's like they all work with each other. They're all like intertwined, all right? Like I know I said that your physique is literally 100%, 95% just diet, but there is still a percentage that is just what you're doing in the gym and you have to do that. So, so you want to get a nice physique. You want to get abs. You want to get all that good stuff. Or you want to bulk. It is up to you. There are a few things that are probably stopping you from getting to that point. And the main thing in this video is your diet. I know it is the most stressed thing that people always tell you to do. Just don't eat stuff that's gonna make you fat. You know, make sure you eat all your good stuff, all your vegetables, all this, all that. It really is just that important. To get to the gist of it, usually the numbers are 80% of your physique actually comes from the food you eat, but that is a wrong number. That is a fallacy. It is 95% of your physique. Because if you really want to have those muscles popping out and showing through that you are getting in the gym, all you need to do is just lean out. And there's one way to do that, and that is through your diet. Now, this is the most obvious piece of information of all time, but there's more to your diet than just eating good. Yes, although it is true at a young age, you can kind of just eat anything that's remotely lean food and you will probably get there. But, you know, if you really want to get the most expertise results, just listen up. There are actually resources out there that tell you the right amount of calories to have in a day to have a good physique. And I'll give you one right here. And this is Maintenance Calories Calculator. So put in your data, all right? And my split is basically, you know, four to five times a week. I don't go to the gym every single day because first off, I need the rest. And second off, there are other things I need to do. We calculate. And if I want to maintain my weight, I need to eat 2,600 calories a day. Bro, that is a lot. That's a lot of food. There are 563 calories inside of a Big Mac. And if I have five of those, I'll barely be over my amount. But no, I'm not going to be using Big Macs. I'm going to be using real food, real protein, real this, real that. And maybe a little bit of protein bars on the side because, you know, it's really hard to get all natural food in this economy. It is really expensive. You already know how that goes. Now, aside from this, all my bros who are cutting right now, or girls, you know, you guys cut to us, you know, it's normal. There are some certain things you need to do when you, you know, cut. And one of them is realize something. And that is, bro, you actually have to take a cut really serious. Those cheat days, those cheat days are actually going to hurt you. You know, there's there's some pretty serious stuff going on. Although one day of eating will never be the end of you. That's, of course, factual. But, like, you can't consistently do that, bro. Like, your results will come in 10 times faster if you just don't have those days. I obviously have one cheat day a week. But if I didn't do any cheat days, which I've not done a cheat day for months before, I've just, I've felt the difference in physique. Like, it is real. It is, like, not a fake thing. Another thing that you can go ahead and do is compute your BMI. And for the record, the BMI is probably best used when you haven't gone to the gym in your life and you were trying to figure out what you need to do. If you were overweight, you're going to have to cut. If you're going to maintain or not, all that good stuff. If you're underweight, you bulk up, all that. Now, BMI is the most median of median data for your statistics, for your height and weight. So yes, it's going to be maybe a little bit off. That's fine. So I'll go ahead here and go to the government website, put in my height, and put in my weight. My BMI is 24. If you go to the BMI categories, I am normal weight. 
Although, if you have a lot of muscle on you and you're bulking, you're probably gonna be overweight. But listen, you have a lot of muscle, so you're all good. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I tried to put as much information as possible, but there's not a whole lot to it, so the video's gonna be a little short. But next video is gonna be good. It's gonna be a day in the life of me, you know, a former fat ass. Trust me, y'all gonna like that one. But if you made it this far, I gotta show the special guest. Hey. Hi. Don't snip the lens. Anyways, though, see y'all later. By the way, I know I haven't posted in six days, but I'll try to get better with that.